Vietnamese Americans and the Nail Industry by Maya Mangada. Throughout the United States, around 50% of nail salon owners are Vietnamese. This may not come as a surprise. Unfortunately, the high percentage of Vietnamese immigrants in nail salons has led to stereotypical depictions and prejudices of Vietnamese as an educated and a narrow view of Vietnamese American community. However, many are not familiar with the history behind nail salons and its connection with the political history of Vietnam, the Vietnamese refugee experience, and the American immigrant experience overall. This history dates back to 1975, towards the end of the Vietnam War. The first wave of Vietnamese refugees were coming to the U.S. after the fall of Saigon. Many identify Tippi Hedren as a pivotal figure in the relationship between Vietnamese refugees and nail salons, a famous actress, fashion icon, and humanitarian. She was helping recent immigrants in California to learn new vocations and noticed that many of the women were particularly interested in her nails. She flew her personal manicurist in and had her teach 20 Vietnamese women how to manicure nails, who opened the first Vietnamese nail salons in the United States. This group of women continued to teach more who came. Eventually, the nail industry became an economic cornerstone of the Vietnamese American community. The circumstances of Vietnamese immigration were different from many other countries. Most immigrants left as political refugees, forced to leave much behind. Nail salons allowed them to have stable, well-paying jobs without requiring much English fluency or degrees of higher education, and build community with one another. Today, the demand for nail salons has led Vietnamese Americans to settle in places with relatively low Asian populations that have high demand for nail services, such that there has sprung up a Vietnamese phrase, Lam Mong Xian Bong, doing nails across states. Many second generation Vietnamese Americans have been able to get higher education due to their parents' hard work in salons and their own experiences working in salons growing up. Many note that it's not necessarily a dream job. It often involves long hours and can come with health problems associated with nail product fumes. Vietnamese immigrants operating nail salons in mostly white communities know that it can be an isolating, lonely experience. However, for many Vietnamese people, it's a stable living which allows them to support their family and take part in a community, which has allowed them to flourish in many other ways in the U.S. Interestingly, this phenomenon has made Vietnamese Americans fall under a type of stereotyping opposite to the model minority role. They are often stereotyped as somehow less educated than other Asian American groups, such as Chinese or Indian Americans, and having less to offer the United States. Far too often, certain roles are seen as lower class in this country, even though they provide a service that many of us enjoy. Moreover, this stereotype persists because many are not well educated on the political history of Vietnamese immigration and the fact that many came as refugees, with little to their name. Coming from such a background and being able to support a family in a completely new country is something many of us fortunately have not had to experience. It's important to remember that behind the stereotype and job, there is a human and often a hidden community that, while not often praised in the media, is just as rich as any other. I am not made of war, I am made of hyphens. By Kimberly Yuan. I am made of war. I was conceived by the bloodshed between the North and the South born from the vicious rivalry between communism and democracy. I am the byproduct of a refugee's choice between the comfortable past and the free future, but I cannot be both. I am made of war. I am the constant wrangle between the old and the new. I am the lack of compromise between tradition and progress. I am the irreconcilable differences between what it means to be Vietnamese and what it means to be American. But I cannot be both. But why can't I be both? The North and the South eventually became one. Communism will someday progress to democracy. The refugee is both parts his past and his future. And the old, with some work, can perhaps become new. And progress can still be rooted in tradition. And for heaven's sake, I am Vietnamese American. You taught me to war with myself. You likened my soul to a word. For it is broken when it is in two. And likewise, you tore me in two. So I would be a broken word, a torn and half piece of paper that even tape cannot fully ever fix. But I put myself back together. And in doing so, I realized that I am not a broken word, 
I am in fact a hyphen, bridging two words into one intertwined unity. And you can believe that I am a torn in half piece of paper, but at least light shines through my cracks. I am not made of war. I am made of hyphen.